we're here with Garway. Um, I'm Tandy, Media for Youth. Um, so Garway, um, tell us about yourself. Like you're an a Zim artist, originally from Zimbabwe, um, and you're an incredible artist. If I may say so myself. Um, we're sitting behind your piano, please. In, oh, actually, in front of. <laughs> um, tell us about this lovely instrument of yours. Well, this is my trusted electric piano. I got it when I was, oh, how now? It's about 16, 17, but I've been playing since I was about nine, and I've always wanted a piano. And luckily, my dad got me a piano, and I've just played it ever since. Been Ooh, okay. okay. Um, so those of you who don't know, um, Gary is actually my cousin, and I've obviously been at the house when he's always playing, um, and I actually enjoy the sweet sound. And the thing about you, I always everyone compares you to John Legend, and you're completely different. But I know that he definitely inspired you. But you are completely different to him, and I don't know. Like, can you explain to me how the growth from you learning, like, and who inspired you? Okay. Well, I actually started playing music, music, well, performing music as a drummer in a rock band. But then, as I got older, and I started singing on my own, that's oh solo, and I got behind, well, got in front of the cymbals as opposed to hiding behind the drums. My sort of tone and range sort of to fit with his music, and I started to play soul music on the keys. And so that's how I got into John Legend by trying to learn that stuff and Alicia Keys, that sort of music sort of inspired me to use my tone of voice in that way, as opposed to, well, not necessarily screaming. I wasn't a screamer <laughs> in my band. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, suffer things down a little bit, give it a little more soul. Um, you had your EP launch, which I was at as well, um, about three weeks ago now. Um, it was very successful, great turnout. What happened straight after this EP launch? Because I know definitely like it's exciting news, but I want you to tell everybody else. Well, we had a party. <laughs> no, we, we didn't have a party. We had the, the launch was the party and it was a great night. We had a great turnout. Uh, we had lots of good support acts. It was, yeah. an, it was amazing. Uh, the hosts were amazing. You were interviewing artists. She was amazing. Tandy was amazing. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm just really thankful to have my band here with me because things so, can sort of snowball when you've got a band behind you mm. of really good session musicians. Uh, can really help you boost your performance and entertain people, get people shaked up. And we're going to be playing at Velfest in Birmingham on the 1st of June. So look out for that. Mm -hmm. Now, your followings have grown also since then. Um, and one thing about yourself is you're also an artist who manages themselves. How, how do you cope? Because I'm trying to understand. I can't uh, even manage to do my own work. And this one is busy managing himself. Plus work as well. Oh yeah, there's no glamour in it at the moment. Yeah. It's nine to five and then I feel like sometimes, you know, you start work when you leave work. So as soon as you leave work, you go to the jam, you go to Shoreditch, you go to North London, yeah. West London, traveling around just to get to the next spot, just to promote yourself and be around as many creative people as possible to get your, grow your network really. Yeah. And then we're managing yourself. You've got your admin duties as well. They do come mm -hmm. hand in hand. Yeah, it is tiring. Yeah. Do you want to do it? Um, great, <laughs> new job. I, I, I got another job, guys. Got another job. This is exciting. Nice. <laughs> um, what is next to come? Because obviously you're at festivals um, th throughout the summer as well. You've booked some. Um, what is next to come? Like after this, e after this EP? Oh, well, I've done a song on the EP with an artist called English, a rapper based in London. Uh, we're going to have a party to celebrate the video release sometime, I think, May. We're going to set that up. So if you go to uh, my Twitter, Galway Music, at Galway Music on Twitter, I'll update you on all the dates for that. And you can keep up to date on other videos that are coming out. I've got another video coming out from my EP as well, just after that in the summer. And one more exciting thing. Uh, one of my songs will be featuring on an advert for a new clothing line called CM Clothing. Good yeah. friend of mine with her fashion is taking things to a new level. Yeah. It's ClaireMailey.com. You go to there, you get some CM clothes. They are the bomb. But um, make sure you're listening out to that track as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the song will be there. Nobody dances. Be, everything's flying around. There'll be clouds, smoke. Everything will be fire. 
Yeah. Okay, I'm actually looking forward to this. Um, quick question, like, you've had some sort of issues on stage which have been embarrassing or off stage. Well, because it's kind of funny. It's funny. <laughs> the stories, the stories this yeah, one comes home with is funny. Well. So yeah, the stories that you come home with, uh huh. I think we need to share it with everyone, media for youth. Um, introducing to you Garway's very embarrassing moment. <laughs> embarrassing moments with Garway. <laughs> well, yes. Okay, now you had to say it. There was one time I was on stage and I had the whole band there, I had the, everybody on stage, and my brother and sister, Silver Sands and Garakai, play backing vocals as well, or yes. sing backing vocals. <laughs> and uh, my brother was just doing a bit of... Um, MC in with the crowd, you know, a bit of banter and that. But I thought it wasn't working that well, so I butted in and started to make jokes about his banter on stage. While I was doing that, my guitar strap failed, like failblog.org failed, <laughs> epic fail, and my guitar just smashed to the ground. And it's not been the same since, and it was very embarrassing. If you can imagine the crowd reaction, it was like, ooh. <laughs> that was that's how it looked. Okay. Yeah. Um but one thing that did come out of the whole incident was the actual guitar featured in the EP launch. It made its debut. It made its deb <laughs> it made its debut in the recordings as well. Yeah. Um some of, some of the recordings <laughs> broken as it was. But um yeah, that that was quite an embarrassing moment and thank you for sharing it I've with recovered. us. I've I've recovered. Um I've taped it up. It, it's got a vintage look now, at least. Yeah. You know, that's a positive. Mm -hmm. it, it looks, it looks kind of cool now. It's got an edge. It's got, a, it's got an edge. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, tell us about your style. Like style. your style. It's pretty my awesome, style. actually. Do you know how I say? No style is my style. Ooh. That, that's new. That's new. That, mm, that's a new one. I like that one. Um, yeah. by the way, I just have to mention this lovely shirt of his. Oh yeah. You know, I purchased. I, I purchased. You know, <laughs> oh, I'm a, just the, you were just looking for a shout out. Yeah, you? I was looking for that. Oh, that's why you asked that question. You weren't interested in my style at all. No, no you were just trying to get around to what I was wearing now and trying to take all the credit. Yeah. Well, literally, I just put fling on a t-shirt and I put some African beads on it, and that's that's the way I sort of do my thing. Um, Zimbabwe, I bought them. There we are. In the summer. We're about to mention that. Um, they've had a hard life as well. Look, these ones. There's one missing there. <laughs> and I think See, he, he didn't mention this, so you know, he didn't mention this. No, I, should, I need to go back to Zim. So if anyone wants to buy me a flight, yes. um, you know where I need to go. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, talking about Zim, one of the tracks on there is actually, um, it's got an African beat to it, it's got an African anthem to it. Talk to me about the journey of that song and why you chose to have an Af African theme, like a Zim theme. Well, it's really funny how that one started off, because I was actually washing dishes and I was going, Mama, yeah, And my brother was just saying, that sounds sort of jazzy, sort of African-y. Yeah. So I was like, oh, like jazz, African, Jafrica. Okay, let me go upstairs, get my guitar, and then I start singing. And, I, and then that African sort of vibe, I thought I'd just go with it. Yeah. And then being an African vibe, I started to think, you know, at the time I lost my dad, that was what was on my mind. Yeah. So the words just came out with everything that I'd been through and losing my dad so it just sort of came together that way mm. so I had my dad from Zim and that soulful melody that was African yeah. and came together and made that that song it's quite special to me now mm -hmm. and it started in the kitchen all the good kitchen. things come from the kitchen <laughs> that's the moral of the story yeah and food it's gonna see eat. <laughs> <Food>. <laughs> um would you like to go to Zim like at some point and record in Zim? Because it sounds like a, in, a, like a trip worth you going to. And you have always talk, you've always talked about doing music in Zim. And one thing I knew I know of you is that when when Dad died, like we went like everyone was going to Zim, and everyone was like making up songs at the airport. Now these guys, my family's That's very so. musical, um, and they're making up songs at the airport. Crazy! Imagine everyone's just walking past. <laughs> Everyone's walking past and they're just making noise. But um, something about it, like you're just going back to your roots, that sort of thing, connecting with it. And that's something about you. You've never lost that whole connection, that whole link, the Zim link. Mm, gives you your, you know, that's your roots are 
ingrained inside you. So, I mean, I definitely want to go back and do some music at some point when I have a bit more funds. I'll go over to Zim and record some music out there. Yeah. I'd like to do a video out there as well, like video from my EP called Where I'm From. It'd be best suited to actually film that in yeah. Zimbabwe if I could. So maybe it's an idea. Maybe if I can go again next year, get myself down there, get do some projects out there, definitely something I want to do in the near future. Mm. Okay, so we've got to watch out for Galway. Um, where can everyone find you? If you go to www.garwe.co.uk, you can get all my things from there. Twitter, at Galway Music, YouTube, forward slash Galway Music, and SoundCloud, forward slash Galway Music. Thank you so much for having this interview. Um, is it possible if you may sing something for us or play something for us? It would be really lovely. Hmm, let me think. Working at a convenience store Managed to save, stood it up in the money Won't have to drive too far Just across the border and into the city You and I can both get jobs Finally see what it means to be leaving hey, Finally see what it means to be leaving hey, yeah. You see my old man's got a problem he lives by the bottle, that's the way it is He said his body's too old for working I said his body's too young to look like his My mama went off and left him She wanted more from life than he could give I said somebody's gotta take care of him So I quit school, that's what I did Hey, I quit school, that's what I did Yeah, yeah I remember we would drive Driving in your car, speed so fast, feel like I was drunk City nights laid out before us, and your arm felt nice wrapped around my shoulder And I, I, had a feeling like I belonged And I, I, had a feeling I could be someone, be someone, be someone, yeah, yeah. Be someone 